All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another music challenge here. Um, my voice probably sounds a lot better now than it ever has. That's because I figured out how to use like limiters and all that shit on OBS. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have good audio this video. Hopefully, I if I get everything right. So, here's what I want to do. I I'm not gonna be able to finish this whole thing in one video. This will probably take me hours upon hours upon hours. But I want to write the first 16 bars of a baroque piece. Um, this music project is kind of weird. What I want to do is I want to write mu a piece of music which lasts like, I don't know, 15 minutes long and it goes through all the music eras and it ends in like today-ish kind of thing. Maybe metal, I don't know. Um, but definitely not pop because that's shit. But yeah, maybe metal and I'm, go I'm gonna actually come up with some kind of way of transitioning to add the newer uh, instruments. Um, I think it'll be pretty easy to do it later on. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to like incorporate a piano going from harpsichord to piano because harpsichord will just be cut out. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there, but yeah, I have half an hour to do this. Um, so yeah, let's start. I think I have a VST plugin for harpsichord, or like one of the things is a harpsichord. I think my plugins are here. Yeah, they are. Uh, where is it? Overture. There we go. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find the harpsichord. Uh, I'm not. Sh I wasn't sure if I should have started with like drums, like African drumming, because that was way before baroque. Uh, but we're going to go with this anyway. I'm just going to put these all to harpsichord. Oh, that sounds shit. Uh, that's the key. Still sounds like shit, but all right. Yeah. We'll come up with something. Um. So, harp chord. I think that's how you spell it. Okay, and. Uh, I don't know how to write for harpsichord. I've never, I never played harpsichord. I just heard a bit of music before. It has some harpsichord in it, mainly Bach. So let's see what we can do. Um, let's make this easy for us, for me, because um, this is going to be a long piece, and I don't want to have to mess around with complicated, like inversions and stuff of keys. So let's start off in a key of A minor. That sounds awful. <laughs> um, we probably want this slightly. Let's have it to the jig, you know. Let's have it to 160 BPM. Wait, well, yeah, jig should be happy, shouldn't it? Not A minor. <sighs> let's let's do D major. I don't know. That sounds shit. Let's have it go from C to G. I kind of like that. Uh, what it should do probably is like this. That doesn't sound too bad. Sounds somewhat baroque ish. I would play some Bach for you, but it's probably going to be copyrighted or something. It shouldn't be because well, I don't think Bach would care about copyright, but. You know, let's do this properly and not cheat by listening to other music. Um, we've only spent three minutes so far, so that's alright. We're gonna have need violin and cello for this as well. Maybe a double bass. Uh, what else do they have back then?
Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Actually, we don't need to. Do a bit of a trill, I don't know how shit that's gonna sound. Yeah, not too bad. We can loop this once, I think, maybe, before it progresses on. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna clone the track and have this as the right hand, and so it's right, just so it's easier because left hand and right hand do pretty different things, I think, on the harpsichord, so get rid of that. Uh, let's have this arpeggio, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that won't work because that. Do they have harp scores so low there? Let's have that go down a bit. Eh. Yeah, that could be worse. I don't know how that's going to sound like. Eh. Okay, I have an idea. Let's raise all this by an octave and then the other one by an octave as well. You know what? I'm going to Google it. Um, pitch range of chord. I can't spell it. Okay, so so F one to F six. That so that would be F two to F seven on this, I think. So the harpsichord can go down to there and up to there, I think. Okay. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> this is not gonna go well as a project, is it? It's gonna be so bad. Let let me save this as something. Uh music through the ages. Test. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to add some other crap now. So let's go. I have to go through all my files again. As always. Strings. Okay. Let's have a cello. We'll add a violin later. So yeah, we can have all the string instruments, we can have a harpsichord. I think we can have a recorder or clarinet. I think it's a recorder. You can also have a fiddle, but that's basically a violin. Yeah, we can go up to here. I'm a cello player, I should know. Um, Have staccatos. And we'll go back down to a C. Let's lower that volume. Ugh. 
Feels like shit. As always, sounds like absolute shit. Uh, we will get this done. We only have to go up to here. Might be difficult because we ha we're having so many instruments here. Let's, you know, I'm not even going to bother. Just clone this and change the instrument. Nope. Not that. Not that. That. Yeah. Onto violin. Okay. Uh, delete all this. Gotta go up here. Perfect cadence. Nope. Nope. I think it's the harp score that sounds like shit, mostly. Um. Okay, so what do we do to make this better then? What if we mute the harp score? That sounds way better. Okay. How about we do not have a harpsichord because that sounds like absolute trash. <sighs> no harpsichord in this. Even though that's like the main baroque thing. You know what we're gonna have we're gonna have a string quartet for the baroque part of it. I think I will have African drums, but I'll have to figure out how to write that well. Um Let's also switch these around because violin should be above cello. Let's do a staccato here as well. Okay, and then we can go into like, yeah, I need to add other instruments to this, don't I? Um, clone track. And clone track. Cool. Um, add all that above here. Gonna have, do we need a violin too? No, we're, got, we're not gonna have a violin too, we're gonna have a viola. And double bass, which is a contra bass in this, basically. They're the same thing, okay? Viola. Contra bass. Okay. Um. I just hope that I don't know. I don't. I only play cello. I don't know how to write for other string instruments. Sounds all right, actually. Uh, let's have this down just a little bit. So about there. Maybe a bit more. 
Let's have that at 30. Exactly 30. Let's have that start at exactly 60. Let's have that start at exactly 90. Uh, so now we're just going to add a bunch of these to each one so we can control it. Stay at 90, okay. Drag that out. Actually, not that yet. Let's have this only staccato. And I'll be a C on the next one. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. If we have that at about 80. Okay, um, that's good, but we're going to just change a few things um, about the way it does this. Have this at ninety. Yeah, that sounds okay, I guess. Um, this is gonna be very big, guys. It's gonna be hundreds of instruments, probably. It's just gonna go down and more down, but for now, we're just gonna have it go down to here. Um, of course, I'll be using the same instruments again later on, but maybe less of it. Um, I'm gonna need to get some good brass instruments, I think, like a good brass plugin. I don't know if I have one. Uh, well, does it have a sax? Because I'm gonna have a jazz section. I just wanna check. We only have 13 minutes left. Brass, please have a jazz section. Sax. Okay, it has sax. That's all I need to know. Remove. Um, let's have this go to 100. Not 10, 100, please. Wait, that was smart. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, that's better. That's that's way better. What did I just do? No. This? No. Which one of these is it? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Just... <laughs> delete it. <laughs> just delete the whole thing. Okay, um... What else is here? Um... I have a feeling we're not getting to 16 bars. You know what we're gonna we're gonna do a slight loopy thing. Just gonna do it like this. It's gonna it's gonna have an eight bar intro, which repeats itself. Yeah. Um. Then over here we're gonna have something else, and then the same thing there. But we're gonna slightly we're gonna completely change the last bar here. So quickly let's quickly make up four bars. Well, five technically.
Yeah. Um, we're starting on E here, so... Yeah, okay. So this kind of like has a slight E section to it, I guess. So it goes C, E. Let's slightly change this so it's more fun. Okay, that, that was why it sounded sad. We don't need to do that because it will go to a C on the next one. On the next bar. Actually, that was actually so smooth. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's try to make it more smooth going into this here, though, I guess. That was already smooth enough. Okay, I like this. I like this. Let's see if we can make the other instruments work well as well. That was that was the, that was like so good. Okay, we have nine minutes to do this. Come on, we can do this. Okay, so what does it sound like? Like this, okay. I guess let's have that for uh, like contrast. We'll have this not staccato and both of these staccato as contrast. Okay, so... Let's start here. I don't know. Uh, what was this in? So, E... Like, kind of F, I guess. E, F, then C, and E. E, F, C, E. Okay, let's try to do this here. E, F. What does this start in on a C? So this should lead in nicely if I have it slightly variate here. And now I changed it here, so let's see what it is. So E, B, still, no, that's D, no, that's G, that's G, which carries into C, okay. So it's E, B, G carry to C. So let's have that here. E, B, G. 
just raise all of these by a tone. That is not a G. But it is C, so that should work fine. And that will carry nicely into that, I guess. Mm. No, it won't. Now it should carry nicely into this now. It's gonna go from here. Yeah, that, that might work. Let's see what this sounds like together. Okay, um, you know what, I'm gonna have a slight break on the contrabass here. Well, not break, it's gonna be staccato, but like not very often, like every other, like once a bar. So. Yeah, then I think we had G, then we had C. I I don't remember what did we have here. Oh, F. Not. Yeah. Okay. So sort of like that. Uh, over here, let's just drag the volume up so that the start carto is heard better. Uh, let's see. Just gonna double check. So E F G. What is that E? That's an E. Two. G. E G. Okay. What does it sound like this? Yeah, okay. And then this is E to G. No, it is not. E to B, which we can have like this. But it's not B. Because it's special, so let's have it like so. E, F. This E sounds weird. Yeah, it, sound, it sounds flat. Because it's a staccato on this for some reason. Uh, let's go from here. We have two minutes. Okay, come on, let's make this good. Just the cello left. You know, I'm gonna give myself an excuse. Okay, cello. Yeah, I'm gonna have it as the violin plays here, but only the start of the note. So here would be a C, here would be a C, and E, and the A. Gonna cheese it. Okay, what does this then do? 
D, T, D, G, E. D, D, G, E. That was the wrong one. C, C, E, A. Yeah, C, C, E, A. Cool. And then E G F D B I mean same thing. Okay, we're out of time. Crap. Um Okay, well let me just finish this and we'll we'll, we'll see what it sounds like and then I'll I'll just like finalize it so it sounds better for you guys. Uh, like I kind of like did in the last video. Oh, that reminded me of a sad piece. So that's G E. Okay, what does this sound like? Just checking. Um, not loud enough is the answer. So it's a hundred. Goes down again. Okay. So let's see what this sounds like. Um, it's not going to be great. And then I'm going to finish that one bar. And in a few minutes, I'll be back with like better audio and like, well, better volume and all that as I did last time. So let's see what this is like. Okay, that's not too bad actually. Um, I will. I'm now gonna pause recording and I'm gonna do this until it's all perfect and then, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, guys. So yes, thanks to you for watching and if you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more of this, then be sure to subscribe. If you don't want to miss anything out, then be sure to hit that notification bell. Um, I'll see you next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.